A square root function is a function where the output is the square root of the input. So classically that looks like y equals the square root of x. Now this uh, specific function is considered the parent of this family. It's, the, it's the, the most basic or the most generalized version of a square root function. And then you can uh, add to the complexity or change the location of a square root function by adding constants in different places. Like um, maybe you have y equals 2 square roots of x or y equals the square root of 2x or y equals the square root of x plus 2. These are all different square root functions and they're all uh, sort of child functions of this parent. This, this is the overall um, base that the others are modifications of. So what we're going to do is take a look at this function here and see how it's built. If we start with, um, say, we'll just make an xy graph here. If we start by putting in values for x, and obviously, ideally, we want to choose numbers that are perfect squares because they're easier to calculate, right? So if we do uh, x is 9, say x is 4, uh, x is 1, 0, um, let's even do negative 4, for instance. Okay, so then when we put these numbers in, our output values are just going to be the square root of each of these numbers. So if x is 9, y is the square root of 9, which of course is 3, and if x is 4, y is 2, if x is 1, y is also 1, because 1 squared is 1, and same thing with 0. And if x is negative 4, y can't be anything, because there isn't a number that squares to be negative 4. So there's really no answer here for, for negative 4. So what we'll do then is take these values that we have, we'll graph them over here on our graph. If x is 9, y is 3, so we have a point clear over here right by the right side of the screen there. If x is 4, y is 2, if x is 1, y is 1, and if x is 0, y is 0. So you can see we have this, this curve here. Now, since we can't go past 0 with x, anything negative is going to be the square root of a negative number, which doesn't exist. Really, our graph effectively doesn't have anything over here at all. This entire area ends up being empty because x can't be a negative number. So then as we put in these values for x, our graph ends up curving off here to the right. And it starts off a little steeper here. The curve goes up kind of relatively rapidly. And then it starts to level out. And it gets more and more flat as we get farther and farther along. So that's the basic uh, square root graph. And you'll see that these others are modifications of that. And in the other video, we actually graph this on the, the Desmos graphing calculator and show specifically what happens as you change these other input values here and see what happens to this parent graph when those numbers are increased or decreased.